One of the best things about the summer is being out on the water and here in Jib we're spoilt for choice with all the sea related activities we can do. So we're here today on one of the most popular activities, the dolphin tour, and we're going to see if we can spot some of these beautiful creatures and learn a bit about them. The most common species that we get here is the endangered species, the short big common dolphins. Uh, there's only 20,000 in the whole Mediterranean and around 3,000 congregate here in the bay for, for reproduction purposes. And uh, then we get as well striped dolphins in little groups, but striped dolphins normally they look for, for deeper waters. And every now and then we get the visits of bottlenose dolphins and they come here as well for the same purposes, breeding and feeding. And uh, they're more prominent at this time of year, why is that? Well, uh, actually the bay behaves as a shelter for dolphins and uh, in summer as well, the temperature of the water is higher. Normally females, they come into the bay to give birth and to be able to, to feed in different preys, to, to produce rich milk, to feed these babies, to, for them to grow, to grow fast and healthy. And you do lots of work monitoring the dolphins. Can you tell me a bit about that? Uh, what we tend to do is just stop the boats and if the animals want to come close, come close. If not, they don't we explain to the passengers in that way we're very lucky and uh, we tend to explain uh, what we are, are gathering in, in for research as well all the information that is given here is all published and uh, based on the information that we collect in the boats and um, tuna fishing is in full swing with over four tons caught here since the season opened in June which isn't great for the tuna but how does fishing affect the dolphins there was a local man who had to save a dolphin caught in his net recently actually the problem of the common dolphin in the Mediterranean is that as is that uh, since 1960 the commercial fishing started for tuna and when the nets come the the, the, the ones that get you know are uh, catching the nets alongside with the tuna is the common dolphin and uh, actually that's a reason why the population decreased 50% uh, since 1960 when these techniques happened. There's other obviously impacts, yeah, uh, but actually, you know, it's not only fishing, it's uh, traffic, it's noise pollution is one of the, on the main problems and as well like most of the boats that they don't follow regulations and uh, is what we say that uh, if you don't chase an ape with a car, we don't chase dolphins with a boat. Of course, and um, you know, tourism can have an impact. Recently, footage of a baby dolphin being manhandled by tourists in Almeria made headlines, and sadly, the poor dolphin died. What should people do in that situation, and how should a stranded or distressed dolphin be treated? The dolphins, they are animals that they are very sensitive to, to stress. First of all, uh, eliminate the crowds. That's main, main, main thing. And uh, if the sea is in a good, in a good uh, state, actually, two people just alongside yeah, one on each side, holding just the belly of the dolphin and let the dolphin rest. So you keep it in the water, the water absorbs the temperature, the temperature uh, uh, like faster than, than the air does. And that's the reason why we wet the dolphins, you know, when they come out of the water, it's like to keep them cool. And here, cold environment, uh, and obviously, you know, we will come around and try to do something for it. And aside from overzealous tourists and fishing, what other dangers can dolphins face in this part of the world? Um, for example, I know the Nautilus project had a recent beach cleanup at Roja Bay, so things like rubbish, plastic bags, etc., I can imagine aren't good for dolphins or any marine life, really. Well, plastic actually in the bay is one of the main problems we have. We see in daily basis dolphins actually using plastic as they use seaweed for interacting with other dolphins for games. So they grab the plastic, they start like circling around, another dolphin come around, you know, and try to chase and take it off. But sometimes, you know, they get, like not long ago, we had a situation with a dolphin that had the plastic bag. It went all through the head. It got stuck in the middle of the body and uh, tried to rescue a dolphin like that. It's very difficult because the dolphin can move. The dolphin is like actually like wrapped up in a net or something like that. It's limited on movement, so it's much easier to, to, to reach it. But a dolphin that can move, that, that is gonna keep stretching, stretching, stretching. And at the end of the day, you know, it's gonna compromise the breathing. It's gonna compromise, you know, the, the effectiveness in, in diving for fish and all that. So. So the dolphins clearly give us so much enjoyment and in return we need to do all we can to make sure they're as happy and as healthy as possible.